Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Pete's Points. I'm just outside Epcot here. You can see the France Pavilion behind me. And over my shoulder as my smoking hot wife Sherry takes a look. This is what I call the back door. This is the back entrance into Epcot. Now, when Epcot first opened, most people came in through the front and this back one was only accessible, if you will, by guests of the Yacht and Beach Club and then the boardwalk. But now it's become more popular. Everyone is using the back door. The Skyliner's bringing people from the Caribbean and the Riviera and the boats are bringing people. Everyone's using the back door. What in the world does this have to do with you as a leader? I want you to be very concerned about employees who may be trying to use the back door to get around your rules and your policies and your processes. Real quick example, we do training classes where I work and we've got multiple virtual instructor-led training classes. Well, a lot of times we have two classes on the same day, one at nine o'clock for leadership training and one at nine o'clock for conflict resolution. Well, we just found out that there might be some employees who are signing up for both classes and opening their phone on one and watching it and opening their computer on the other and watching the other training class and getting a two for one thing, in a sense using a back door. My point to you is we have to fix that. So we're now gonna go back and put a process in place on our LMS system where employees cannot register for the same class on the same day or two classes on the same day. That's my point, is that when we, in, was when we as leaders hear about employees trying to game the system or go through the back door when you're not supposed to, we have to address it. Because if you don't address it and put processes in place to fix it, all of your good employees are gonna go, well, wait a second, why am I not using the back door? Why am I not trying to beat the system? As a leader, when you hear something that's not right or possibly unethical, you have to address it, kind of eliminate the back door possibilities. Now, if you ever come over here to Epcot, definitely use the back gate, use the back door, because it's a great way to get even closer to the pastries at France. But until then, close your loops, your back doors, and your organization for both your customers and your employees. That's all from Epcot. We'll see you next time on Pete's Points.